YouTube. It is my day off and I want to say I love you. I love YouTube for so many, many reasons. And when I get a day off and I'm selfish and I take my day off for me, what I do is spend time on YouTube. And I realize that can be a very lethargic thing, but in that I have found a way around that. And that's why I'm actually like walking on a treadmill now. And so I want to share with YouTube what I think are the best parts of YouTube. So if you're out there and you're watching and you're just curious, like some cool things about YouTube or, you know, some better ways of using it as a tool, that's kind of what this video is going to be about because I love it. I love it. Um, the thing that I'm doing now is just walking on a treadmill and watching videos. I find that Vivo is really good for music videos and I mean nothing will get you jamming better than some great techno or pop or whatever you're really into and I mean get your cardio up and jam out and get to watch the videos. It's very entertaining and it's great exercise and I mean it's not just your lower body you're walking. I mean you're getting into it so it's pretty awesome. So if you're trying to find official music videos I highly suggest making sure to put Vivo in the title. That will help with that a lot in many cases, or just official music video after it. Um, let's see, what else? I love YouTube because of the positive people on it. Today in much of the TV, radio, news, anything you see, there's a lot of negative. People are upset, the world is a hard place, but people come onto YouTube and they're positive. They want to talk about the best parts of their life or the worst parts of them that they've gotten through and the achievements that they've made. And I mean, it's not only positive things, but I tend to follow the more positive people. Um, I really love Heart. I'll put a link to her below, but she is the charming, wonderful, happy person that I think we all kind of want to be. No matter how she gets kicked down or what's going on in her life, she's great. And I love that. And I just, I'm so thankful for that real, positive, great person that she is and that she's showing that to everybody. Because, I mean, she's not perfect by any means, but nobody is. And I love that she's putting herself out there and showing everybody that. Um, my favorite video of hers is the watermelon video. I will probably put a link to that. She's amazing at tackling a lot of subjects in a disarming and funny and silly way. So afterwards you kind of think about it, but really you're just in a good mood. So I really like that. She's got dimples for miles. I love her. <laughs> and then, um, of course, everybody knows Jenna Marbles. And I think one of the things that a lot of people are taken aback by is she has a lot of foul language or whatever, but the reality is, is she's showing you everybody's kooky, everybody's a little bit off the beaten path, and that's great. Everybody has these weird things in common because we're all weird. We all have different little eccentricities or whatever you want to call it. So I love Jenna Marbles. She helps me be a better me by helping me be okay with the fact that I'm silly a lot of the time. <laughs> um, I also really like the vlog brothers. I think they're very insightful. I think they're very intelligent and I like the um, banter between them. So I, I do very much like the vlog brothers. On a strictly educational viewpoint, I love learning things. And let's face it, there is not enough time or enough opportunity in the world to go out and learn from the masters how to do all kinds of things. But there's this great phenomena where people are recording the masters and they're actually making these YouTube videos of how to blacksmith and um, all of these other crazy things. And one of the things that I really took advantage of while I was in culinary school is a lot of the Thai uh, vegetable carving. And it really helped me get some points in my classes and it helped me be better at my field. And it's still things that I use to this day that I didn't have the opportunity to be taught in my school because culinary is such a vast subject. So it was, it was a great thing. I keep those videos in a uh, binder of 
education stuff, and I go back to them, and I keep learning. But recently, I have been told I have the opportunity, if deer season goes well, to have a deer hide. So I have to learn tanning, like leather tanning. And you know what? Everybody laughed at me when I said, oh, that's what YouTube's for. But the thing is, is even though I don't have a deer hide now, I have a good fundamental understanding of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and how long it's going to take and what I will need if that happens. And I mean, I don't live in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of amazing that I don't have to go to Vermont and go to the backwoods and ask a guy how to tan a deer hide in my backyard. I can go online and like I said, the masters can teach you whatever you need to learn. And as long as you have enough mirror neurons to see it and then do it, you know, that monkey see, monkey do, that is, that is what YouTube is good for. You can, you can learn anything. And I love that. And I take advantage of it as often as I can. So when you get a day off, see if you can find a creative way to get some exercise, uh, not just for your body, but for your mind too, and teach yourself some things because it's a beautiful world and it's all over YouTube. So find what interests you, whether that's just people enlightening your day with their positive attitude or learning a new hobby and look it up and enjoy these great opportunities because opportunities are everywhere on YouTube. All right, guys, have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I'll have another one up soon. Thanks. Bye.